What's up, guys? I uh, just want to give my quick opinion about Israel Adesanya because I've heard a lot of different opinions lately about him, about him being boring and his fights not being too exciting and why should I watch him? And it's and it doesn't bother me, but it's like it's interesting because everyone was like, oh, but what about the Alex Volkanovsky? He's he's a exciting champion. Why why is it, is he the same? And I believe it's for a few different reasons. Um, Israel is a big, tall, long fighter, and he's a, mostly a counter striker, and he picks his shots, and he's very good defensively, and he's very hard to take down in the middleweight division. <laughs> um, but the thing is, most of his challenges that have been coming up against him, they... They can't seem to figure out how to get in. They know, well, I think people from the outside look at it going, he should just go in and just take him on and make it a dirty fight, scrap him and then take him to the ground. Just, just make it a dirty fight. And I've found myself saying that as well. But I think when they've been watching, they've watched maybe the Robert Whittaker fight or the Kevin Gaslam one, where Izzy can take those shots and knock you out, pretty much. So they're trying to figure out, okay, how do I get in without getting hit and get the shots in? But it's like, well, you, it's hard to figure out because you can't. You can't do that. You're going to get hit by Izzy. He's longer. He's bigger. He's going to pick you apart. That's that's his game plan. Um, and they can't take him down because... Izzy's just too big for the middleweight, so he just he finds a way to get back up. So, for example, the Jarek Kananir fight. Jarek was just trying to find his way in. Izzy's picking apart, winning rounds. And then the moments where Jarek was winning is when he just bull rushed him. And, well, not winning, had his moments. In the fifth round, He, I think he actually hit Izzy with a pretty good shot. I think he actually hurt Izzy for a split second. And that was when he was rushing in and got him in the clinch and smacked him in the head. But he didn't continue that. So, okay, I understand where people are saying where Izzy says he's going to do a big, a big knockout. And he comes out to The Undertaker, so you're expecting a big fight. But if the opponent isn't going to come in and try to hit him, Izzy's just going to do his job and just pick his shots and win rounds. Why risk him losing the belt when he doesn't have to? He's already got six title defenses already, including his new one. Why risk that for like a bit of aggression? He's winning the fights and he's dominating the fights. Like GSP had a lot of boring fights. Well, not boring. I didn't find them boring, but to the to the I don't like saying casual fan, but to the regular person that loves big knockouts. That's why they like watching the UFC. They're big knockouts. I understand for them, it's like, well, he's not exciting, he's boring. But it's like, no, I don't think that. It's it's being smart, it's being technical, it's being picking your shots, it's using a great game plan, winning the fight. It, that's if you if you're looking for knockouts, that's not what you're. That's not this fight. But it's almost it's almost same as like you don't like watching footy because because the team kept passing the ball around for a long time, then getting the goal. Or they don't like watching footy because there wasn't as many big smacking hits and knock people out. It's like you're watching a sport, a sport where elite athletes are implementing their game plan. So, sorry, not every time there's going to be a big flashy moment, but that's part of sport, it's part of the game. It's Some games aren't going to be as flashy as the other ones. You know, some games are just going to be implementing game plans and just dominating and just winning by points. So I, I feel bad for people that do pay a lot of money to see that. I didn't because I went to the pub and watched it for free. Nonetheless, you're, you are paying to watch a game in the end of the, end of the day. Like you're watching a game. So this is going to, it's a part of it. And it's like when people say, I don't like the wrestling in the UFC. It's like, well, but that's part of the sport. Sorry, you're not getting a big flashy knockout. But if you like the sport, you're going to like the entirety of the sport. I mean, you don't have to, but you've got to accept that that is a part of the sport. 
that's going to happen. And same with boxing. It's like, sorry, there's not big flashy knockouts and people are just picking their shots and slipping and dodging out of the way most of the time. But that's part of the sport. That's just how the elite athlete dominates or wins the fight. Um, so I do think the criticism against Izzy is unfair. I, I can see from a regular uh, from a regular person saying he's not as flashy. He has flashy moments. Like, he knocked out um, Paula Costa and Robert Whittaker and Derek Bronson and stuff. But those guys were coming at him. They came at him. They were coming at him. So he found a way just to knock him out. So until the fighter comes in and just goes for it, there, might, there probably isn't going to be big flashy moments. So, yeah, well... That's just that's it at the end of the day, um, but I believe his next fight against Alex Pereira is going to be crazy because Alex Pereira has beaten Israel before, and Israel in those kickboxing fights has gone for the knock, uh, has lit him up, but unfortunately lost, and, and for the one of the fights lost by knockout. So I want it's going to be interesting to see with MMA gloves who's going to be the more He's going to be more, uh, more winning creative in more picking the shots. I believe, I think Izzy's going to be way more just flash. Oh, not flashy, sorry. Way more creative, way more dynamic. Alex Pro is going to be more standard with power. So that would be, if you're looking for an exciting Izzy fight, I believe that one would be the good one. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I believe it's going to be the next one. Um... But yeah, that was just my thoughts about Israel Adesanya. It's just, yeah, the, the guy's doing his job. He's making bank. He's winning fights. He's making a legacy. It is what it is. Thank you, guys.